What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Truth Life Podcast. I'm your host, Tyron Johnson, and we're now on a Truth Life Podcast. Today's topic is why you should always be first. It's episode 61. We've been here weekly, and we've been putting in work, and I've been getting a lot of good feedback. I love you guys sharing it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate it so much. Excuse me. So today's topic is about always being first. I did no research on the power of being first. This is strictly from my own experiences. I noticed very early on that I wasn't a special athlete. I always noticed that I had no problems when it came to working harder than everyone else. I looked at some guys that was just naturally talented and noticed how they dominated. Like, they just was dominating with no effort. Everything just came easy. I knew that I didn't have that. So I had to find another way to dominate. And that way was by outworking everybody. I didn't want to have no excuses. I didn't want to have to rely on any coaches. I didn't want any favors. I just wanted to control my own destiny. And I knew for me to be able to do that, I had to outwork everyone. And I couldn't make it close. I could not just be a tad bit better. I had to be a whole lot better, right? One way I did that was by being first in everything that I do. I was first to practice. I was first in sprints, the first to wake up. I got real un- I got real comfortable being first. What I started to notice was that when I wasn't giving it my all, I would come out last. If we doing something like cardio training, I was never the guy that stayed in the middle. I was either first or I was last. That was a real telling point. And it was a blessing. I was very fortunate to have that because it showed me whenever you give effort, you first. And whenever you bullshit, you last. So that was a real good indication of how I was training whenever I was working out or whenever I was trying to be get to the next level. I hated losing. And I definitely hated being last. So I got a real reminder every time I was taking a day off. When I went hard, I won. I got results. And when I didn't, I lost. And I lost bad. You see, when you're always first, you get favor and respect. You get respect from the team. You get respect from everyone. Everyone respects the person. That's going super hard. In the corporate world, when the boss sees an employee coming in early, getting extra things done, he's going to get favor at some point in time, especially if there's results attached to it. You become like glue and every team needs every team needs a person like glue. We call them glue players in basketball. But that person brings everyone together. We all know it's harder to to stop a team that's together than one that's filled with individuals. You see, when you're first, the boss or the coach always know that they can count on you. So that means more opportunities. And opportunities is all you need to make them pay and live a truth life. You see, when he don't know who to go to, they know that they they can count on you. When they don't know what to expect, They know that they can count on you. Your teammates, when they know that they need you, they know that they can count on you. So you be the guy that everyone can count on. Or the woman. I don't want to. Sorry. I got to start using the right verbiage. You be the person that everyone can count on. And I'm telling you, it's going to take you to another level. Another level that where you're trying to go. If you're trying to get to the next level, you want people to count on you. You know, because the people that that's counted on is the LeBron James. When ESPN cover their game, they're counting on LeBron James to put on the show so they can get those ratings. 
The NBA got these TV deals. They're counting on these NBA players to put on a, a show so that they can get that money. You feel what I'm saying? It all works together. Everyone loves the person that's outworking everyone, everybody. You just cannot, that person energy, it's 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 addictive. And whenever that person is putting in that type of energy and he's bringing that to the team, everyone follows. Everyone follows suit. You want to be that guy. Quick, quick ad, right? Quick, shameless ad. Thank you guys for listening. I'm loving you guys' support so much. But if you got time, go to tyronjohnson.com and check out my new ebook. It's called How to Make Them Pay. I'm, it's an ebook that I made where I'm using people's doubt to fuel your success. I created this thing called Make Them Pay, and I'm showing you my process of how I went from being overlooked, doubted time after time, to being an 11 year pro basketball player. I also got online basketball training on there. I also got some merchandise. Just the site, man, it's a whole lot. You can also get mentored by me. Go to tyronjohnson.com, check out the site, and and just explore, man. But back to always being first. (laughs) Always being first helps you get associated with winning. That becomes your standard. There is a difference in doing something and doing something with standards. When you have standards for how you go about things, you either raise or lower the bar. When you're constantly coming in first, the bar is raised. The reason why this is important, because many just focus on getting a job done. They don't focus on getting a job done with a standard. For example, when I shoot, if I'm making 10 shots per spot, I try to bump that up and I try to make 10 in a row. Because 10 10 shots, if I go 10 out of 12, I'm like, okay, that's cool. But this is becoming easy. Let me make 10 in a row. And that becomes too easy. And then I go, let me make 10 swishes in a row, 10 all nets. No rim, just 10 all nets. Now I'm creating a standard. Now I'm creating perfection. Now I'm creating a, a, a whole nother level that I know everybody ain't doing because they don't got the time. I got the time. I'm putting in the work. And a lot of people like those fast results. I'm in the gym. I'm getting shots up. Woohoo. But I'm in the gym and I'm working with a standard. And that's how I try to handle myself to keep it at a standard because you could be in a game. We just played against Paris last week. I was four for 16 from the field, but I hit two of the biggest shots in overtime. Why? My confidence wasn't shook because I put in so much work during the week. I know I did the work already. It was only a matter of time before they dropped. And that's called, I call it the basketball gods. When you respect the basketball gods, it shows you favor. Right? (laughs) So, I always try to make at least 80% of my shots. Always. Whenever no one's guarding me, I'm in the gym alone, I always try to make 80% of my shots. It's no pressure. Why not? If I don't make it, I do it again. And you see, all of this association with winning makes winning your comfort zone. If you're always winning, what do you think when the sales starts coming in? Or what will happen when the competition starts? You're going to be accustomed to being on top. You're going to be accustomed to winning because you've been winning each day. You're setting standards for yourself. That's what happens when you come always want to be first. You don't just run the sprint just to make the time. You run the sprint to dominate. When you're always in first, you make others better. You become the example. Like I said before, you set a standard for yourself. When you become the most valuable, when you become the most valuable, the people around you naturally will want to be similar because they see the results. Especially in this time When people are driven by results, the one thing you will get when you're always first is results. Everyone will want to emulate you. Now you got the power. Now you got a powerful environment. With everyone everyone competing to be first, it means everyone is challenging each other. 
And I can tell you right now, most teams suffer with inner squad competition. When you become a part of a team, friendships develop, brotherhood develop. People start becoming buddy-buddy. When this happens, the competitive airs tend to drop. To really make them pay, you have to try and tear your best friend's head off. It will help you, it's going to help him, and it's going to help the team. Because if you guys are just going through the motion because that's your friend, because that's your buddy, guess what? You ain't doing nothing but hurting each other. Because you guys are not pushing each other. When you push each other, everyone gets better. He gets better. You get better. The team gets better. And the other team that you plan against the next week or the next time, they understand that you guys are on another level. When you're at that company and y'all doing a whole bunch of extra work, when they start their marketing cam- campaign and y'all start y'all marketing campaign, they're going to be like, damn, these guys got it popping on Instagram, YouTube, uh, all social platforms, uh, graphics, uh, billboards. They hitting up the bus stops. These guys ain't playing around because you putting in the work. You being first. That's why you always want to be first. And always being first is not about the accomplishment that comes with it. Yeah, you get the nice trophy, the big bonus, the increase in salary, but it's really about the standard that you set for yourself. You can always be first and still fail, but what you do is you eliminate the feeling of regret, knowing that you did all that you could do to be successful and it just didn't work out can be tough. But when you know you went out, it get when you but you know when you know when it, you go all out, it gets easy to deal with because you know that you didn't Leave nothing in the tank. You see, you can be first all the time. But what if your teammates are terrible? You're not really helping yourself if you're dominating subpar teammates. You know, guys that's just not that talented. This is a competition between you and you. And if you're 10 times better than the next person, then you need to measure your success by competing against yourself. You ran a six-minute mile and everyone else ran it in 10 minutes. Well, next time, you have to finish in 5 minutes and 55 seconds. Because if you finish in 8 minutes because everyone else finished in 10 minutes, that doesn't help you. You just win in the race. But whenever you start winning the battle with yourself, that's when you're getting better. Because you got to demolish them, lap them, let them know that you for real. Let them know that you ain't playing no games and you take this very serious. That's how you get on top. That's how you gain respect. Always be first. Guys, I can't thank you enough, man. I really appreciate you guys sharing the content and, you know, connecting with me. But if you can, please like and subscribe to the channel. This YouTube channel has been growing a little bit, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts, please leave a review. Please comment underneath this video. Please leave a review. Please comment. Until next time, I want you guys to let me know anything that you want to hear about, anything that you want me to touch upon, and I'll try to get to it. But until next time, every day, make them pay so that you can live a truth life. I'm out.